Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is time for episode 12. We're still making our way through the Pergara Station. Uh, we got two ways out. We got that airlock, and we've got a turbo lift somewhere around here. Uh, the turbo lift is probably not the way I wanted to go, though. We need to go check on the miners over in the dormitories, and the only way to get to them is through the airlock door. So let's uh, make our way through there. Oh. Okay, good. They, they won't let you accidentally walk off the edge of the cliff. That's good. And they sped up your spacewalk from the first Knights of the Old Republic. That's even better. That was... Sad isn't the right word for it. Frustrating's probably a little bit closer. I mean, you're still not breaking any uh, speed records in this thing, but it could be worse. That's about time. I lost your signal after you left the mining tunnels. Now you're coming in clear. Except I'm picking you up on the exterior of the facility. On the asteroid surface, <laughs> that can't be right. Um, <laughs> really? Maybe you should look up. No. I'm right outside the observation window. What are you doing out there? Okay, why don't you make yourself useful and sh <laughs> No, I'm just taking a relaxing walk. That's tempting. I need to reach the miners. Crazy, even for a Jedi. Look, you need to get out of there, quick. Uh, I'm trying to pick up the pace, believe me. What do you mean? Something the wrong? The little is left of the facility's venting systems have gone active, most likely from the explosions in the mining tunnels. They're venting Paragas fuel deposits into space through the exterior vents, right in your path. Oh, can you shut them down? I can't. I'm locked out of the main systems here. I couldn't shut it down if I tried. The mm -hmm. vents look like they've been purposely rerouted to vent the gases to the exterior. And only in the last few minutes. It's almost as uh -huh. if... Uh-huh. It's almost as if the droid I was talking to now did what it. what now? Oh, wait. What? I don't believe this. There's a ship coming in. Sending a docking code. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, discount Han Solo. You get a bad feeling about this. I need to, uh, there we go. I forget the, the videos. I need to switch to the, uh, desktop. Yeah, nothing good can come of that. A whole lot of dead Republic soldiers. Yeah, exactly. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh I think he needs some aloe, too. Can we get him some aloe? No, oh, needs a little... <laughs> needs a little more than just some aloe. That's, uh... So is that what happens? If the dark side lasts for four hours, please consult your physician. May cause some minor scarring. All right, well, now we know who's on. <laughs> Guess who's coming for dinner? Oh, look, we needed a ship conveniently docked to the station. And there's a convenient ship conveniently docked to the station because we needed the drift charts off of somewhere and we needed access to some areas that can only be accessed when there's a ship attached to the dock. And, huh... By strange coincidence, we have a ship attaching to the dock. Funny that. I'm glad they were following the plot navigation. Oh my, this is the slowest docking procedure. I mean, are, are you seriously taking like... <laughs> yeah, exactly. The force works in mysterious ways. I mean, it's like they got the nooblet taking uh, Flyer Z. All right, now, now, gent gently into. No, 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 no. Too far, too far. <laughs> he has come. 
he has come. Like, if you build it, he will come, or... Yeah. Uh, this is where I'd also like to point people to the fact that as much as I love these classic games, uh, you do notice how dated some of the textures and graphics are. With Knights of the Old Republic 2, there are some Steam Workshop mods to retexture them. And I really thought about downloading some of the HD textures for these guys. Just to have uh, something a little, little better than what we got. But I didn't want to... I didn't want to lose that classic look. No, I should totally be able to... Oh, oh, run. Run quicker. There we go. Never mind. To the dormitory. Hey, there we are. Um... I don't know why you... I, I wish there's a way to kind of right-click and look at all to get rid of the flashing light of, look at me. Oh! Hello, boys. Let's, uh, get ready to take advantage of these two weapons and flurry the ever-living snot out of you. There we go. Come on. You don't have any, like, parts or anything for me? Oh. What does a droid have 44 credits for? What are you spending 44 credits on? N never mind. I don't want to know. Uh, I'll just... Yeah. <laughs> Oil can. Ooh, another 81 bucks. You know, I love that they give me all this money. I hate that I got nowhere to spend it. Oh! Oh, hello. Um... I see you got the surprise round on me. Let's fix that. <laughs> oh, he's saved from the stun. That That's actually kind of surprising. I, I would have expected that to go differently. Alright. Storage log, repair kit, med pack. Let's grab all those. Alright. Storage log says, now the fire suppression systems have gone active and I can't even make it to the dormitory section. I watched the turrets turn their carbonite freeze rays on Maban before he even got halfway across the room. Fortunately, their range doesn't seem to go beyond the room itself, so I was able to remain safe in the corridor. But I didn't have any ranged weapons to take them out from a distance and I didn't have a stealth field generator to sneak across the room either. Um, that's what you, I think that was supposed to be a hint, although hints are usually subtle. I tried unlocking the storage room door to see if there was any cold resistant items or grenades I could use, but the door was sealed from the lockdown. I don't know enough about security systems to open it, and I didn't have a sonic charge to blow the door open. Still, as long as the droids don't make it into this section, I should be alright. Um... Yeah, we see how that worked out. And let's pick a door. There we go. Oh, look. A whole bunch of lootable containers. Beautiful. 18 bucks. Come on. Oh, some insulated gloves, a med pack, and some credits. Let's, um... Ooh. 30% versus cold and 20% versus fire? Yes, please. All right. And what about you? A Mandalorian melee shield. That might come in handy later. So that, that tells me that we're going to meet some melee in the very near future because they don't give you stuff like that unless there's, uh, there's going to be a reason for that. And some credits. All right, and we got another workbench, so if we needed to, we could update, break down, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That that might happen off camera at some point. And I think I need to switch to my alternate weapon real quick. 
just because fire suppression and ranged were the big, big dealios. Let's, uh... My range is not so hot. Quick with the regular attacks. Flurry! Flurry! Okay. Done. Problem solved. Oh, you can do stun droids on the on the mines? Oh, that's awesome. Alright, let me do the Force Valor, and let's try to recover the mine. And let's try to recover the mine. Nice. What you got? 55 bucks. Well, and I guess technically two mines as well. Is there anything to loot off of this guy? No. Okay. What about this guy? Nope. And Monsieur Broken Jordan? We got sonic grenades and some components. Alright. Not too bad. Hmm. Nothing here. Okay. I guess he got uh, frozen in carbonate, but not in the... Oh! Oh, hello, guys. Wait, we appear to be back at this, so let's do that. And flurry. Come on, finish him. Finish him. Don't just stand there. Finish him. Come on. Oh, 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 oh my. Let's uh, med pack, and you know what? I, we got these shields. We really should be using them. Okay. There we go. Oh, are you kidding me? Finish it. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't be using that. Maybe I should switch to the power attack, huh? Just power attack. Yeah. Um. There we go. Third time's a charm. Uh, hit up another one of those med packs too while we're at it. Alright. Oh. Oh yeah, that's right. The big guy at the door. Who has a strength booster for some reason. And what you got? Heat shielding! Nice. Well, I think I've already got that, don't I? Alright, so we got these blast doors, we got that terminal, and that Yahoo around the corner. Let's check the uh, terminal real quick first. Okay, I got three spikes to play with. Let's reroute the main console system. There we go. And check the duty shift logs. These appear to be nothing more than long list of work assignments with the number of miners available for duty decreasing over the past three days, citing several mid-bay logs. Okay. What's in the mess hall? Okay, we got a couple of robots. Anything we can do to... No. Dormitory West. We have noxious gases, of course. Shut down the dormitory ventilation. Nice. All right, and dormitory east. Okay. Mass west, east, turbo lift. And dormitory comm system. No sound, of course. And the emergency lockdown. 
There we go. And that appears to be everything else we can do from here. So, uh, there we go. We got some XP. Lost a, lost a couple of spikes. We'll need to craft some when we get to the next bench. Actually, I'm probably going to need more computer spikes before we get too much further. So, uh... Let's backtrack a smidge to this guy, this workbench over here. I really wanted to do the crafting stuff uh, between episodes because it does it does kind of break the flow a little bit. But that did say empty, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Creator breakdown items, and we're gonna need a couple more spikes. And I think that's about it. I mean, we got some armor stuff that we can make, but the armor that we're wearing can't use it. We've got the uh, environmental underlay. Ooh. Regen 1. That could be nice too, but I think uh, I think we'll need the environmental protection that we've got right now. Yeah. We're, we're done with all that for the moment. So we got us a couple more computer spikes, which is going to be very useful. Now I'm actually going to do the dormitories uh, after I take care of around the corner, and you'll see why in a minute. First, let's uh, zap them, and then start cranking out the flurries. Break my attack pattern, why don't you? There we go. And we got more of those automated fire extinguishers, so we're going to have to switch back to ranged. Oh, are you kidding me? Let's, uh, is he in range of a power blast? Oh, come on. Yeah, that's what I was worried about, that he was going to try to repair it. Ah. Uh, no, nope, no. Nope. This is not going well. Time to bravely run away. Switch weapons. Come on. Finish him. Finish him. Okay. Zap him. Zap him again. One more time. Yeah. Now we can finish this guy without him healing him. And now we can take out the other, the uh, turrets without them getting healed by uh, that guy too. Let's do this. Hmm, no. Let's level up real quick. Not auto. Let's do a regular level up. Okay, so it's just skills. So we'll bump up our computer use. We'll bump up our persuade and security. Hmm. Alright, I'm not going to keep cranking the awareness. I'm going to try to get the... Uh, Treat injury caught back up. 
and then I'll start bringing the awareness back up again. Yeah. We'll do that. Okay. And powers. Since I'm level 4, do I have an upgrade for anything that I've already got? No, because that's not until level 9. That's not until level 6. That's not until level 9. Heal isn't until level 6. I like Force Aura. I might try the Burst of Speed at some point. Energy Resistance is the most immediately useful, but... Force Barrier. That's also nice. Because it absorbs the first four points of damage from... Slashing, Bludgeoning, and Piercing. For the next 30 seconds. Battle Meditation is also nice. Uh, but that's kind of expensive, and I might put that on one of my minions once I get them. But uh, that that's basically the whole... That's Bastila's whole deal from the first Knights of the Old Republic, so apparently somebody else knows how to do it, too. Uh, force Body. You can use your health to fuel Force... Pa no. No. Why would you... No. All right, I do want to get Effect Mine, but... I can't help but think that I might have some other things that could be uh, more immediately useful. Like stun. Yeah. Let's add stun right now. Okay. Alright. By the way, before I forget, let's go ahead and save game because we haven't done that in a while. Okay. Now, we can take care of these guys. Seriously. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter that I'm missing. It's not like I'm wasting ammo. I'm shooting him through the wall? Sure. We'll go with that. So far, so good. Alright. Oh. We're not going to deal with that guy just yet. We want to try to open this first. Impossible. <laughs> not with one of these. Bam. Ooh, Bio-Restorative Underlay. Okay, that's the one that gives us regen. I'm glad I didn't craft it yet, because it is kind of nice to have that as an option. Uh, maybe when I get to the next the next one. Alright, so let's... Uh, we got 11. Let's toss a grenade. Hit that, and then get ready to flurry. Stun him! Done. Finished. That went better than I would have thought. All right, that works so well. Let's do it again. Bam. Got him. There should be one more. We're not going to bother with the grenade. I don't want to waste them all. We will, however, stun them and be prepared to flurry a lot. Okay, maybe not as much as I thought. Oop. That's not where we want to be just yet. We'll get there. Uh, what we want is the scattered survival kit, which gets us some chemicals. We want this corpse, which has some chemicals, credits, battle stimulants, and this data pad. That's why I wanted to go here before the dorms. Got another lecture about contraband today. Security hasn't started doing spot checks of our quarters yet, so my cache in the lower bunk of my room in the eastern dormitory should be safe. You won't even know it's there unless you know to look for it. So, if you were to do the dormitories first and then come over to here, you would not know that that stash is there. Because we read the data pad first, 
when we go to the dorms, we'll be able to get that at that time too. And that makes life a lot easier again. Corda came around again asking if I had any special cargo to sell, but I was getting a bad feeling about how he was asking, so I stayed quiet about my stash. I'm going to keep that blaster I smuggled from Telos and a few grenades there just in case things get... I'm going to keep a few grenades just in case things get rough. Yikes. Only benefit of having room on the farthest from the door is that it should buy me enough time to dump the contraband if security does a surprise inspection. Okay. That was the main reason why. I wanted to make... Oh, that's empty. What? Yeah, no, I'm clicking an empty kit. Uh, anything else down in the pit here? We got another survival kit. With some chemicals. And I'm going to finish exploring this area. And then I'm going... Ooh, neural band. Is that better than what I got? That's awareness plus one. That's will plus two. Um, okay, so awareness. Ooh, I'm going to keep that for now. Because I, I would like the damage resistance versus Sonic as much as the boost to awareness. Uh, minor Sonic detonator, always nice. Hey. Somebody leave, uh... Lunch around here, too? No? Alright, some chemicals. I knew that's what was in the soda. Oh, breath mask. That was the other thing that I needed. What's in the mess hall log? I swear they're never gonna... F <laughs> they're gonna never get around to fixing the ventilation systems. And if the food processor's back up again, then the next time the fumes start flooding the mess hall, I'll be dead rather than just nauseous. I'll keep the breath mask here just in case we have a repeat incident. And just in case you need it to deal with the poisonous gas in the dormitories. The other reason why we did this first. And we'll do the dormitories next. Some chemicals. More chemicals. All these are randomized loot, so... You could be getting some different stuff, some more chemicals, some less chemicals. It just depends on uh, on your luck. And then at the lab station, this is where you can break down uh, med packs and stuff and make med packs and stuff. If you've got the right demolitions, you can make some grenades. So we don't have any sonic detonators in inventory. We got no frag grenades, no concussion grenades. If we had one more rank in demolitions, we could make some ion grenades. And if we had a lot more ranks, we could make adhesive grenades. Uh, also, if you're short on mines... But since we've been recovering them, we've got a pretty good stash... Because we're going to have to blow a few doors open in the very near future. Uh, ooh. No, not high enough on the treat injury. But that, that will be nice when I can start making those. Alright. Uh, I got 17 med packs, but I like that I can make more now instead of having to buy them. Uh, let me go ahead and make... Ooh, that's expensive, though. 24 chemicals to make one antidote kit. I can also make a reflex package, but I've already got one. <laughs> a pheromone package. Nice. Once I get my treat injury up, I can make uh, something that'll give me a plus one to persuade and a plus one to charisma. That could be nice. Ooh. This would actually be better than what I'm using right now because it gives me the awareness and immunity to critical hits. But you need a constitution of 14 to use it, and I don't think I'm there yet. But that also means that I can use, I can break down some of this stuff too. But, uh, like... Um, I don't really use a lot of these adrenals, but I'm going to hang on to them for just a little bit. 
All right, that is everything here. So now we're going to backtrack to the dorms because that, that, that door over there, and I keep pointing my mouse, even though I turned on mouse capture, it's not showing. Um, <laughs> that door at the end there it is where our ultimate goal is. But we're going to backtrack to the dorms real quick. Ooh, let's check behind the security door now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, hello there. Oh, seriously? There was two? Stun him. Don't just stand there. Kick him while he's down. There we go. Sonic detonator. Are we about to find out that, uh... Yeah, I know it's locked. Security's not very secure. Alright. That's really all the lootable ones they have. Ooh, another melee shield. Nice. Alright. And was there any... No, no, just an empty cylinder that I've already looted. Alright, so I'm going to head back this way. So here's where the east and west dorms are. And this is where I'm going to go ahead and stop the episode and the live stream. So... Let me uh, insert the cut for the episode for the YouTube folks who will have the opportunity to watch the next six episodes get recorded every Friday at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There's links in the description below. And, uh, and then I'll sign off for the good folks who endured with me all this way through the live stream. So uh, give me just a minute. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up live stream archives from some of my other stuff and various and sundry other videos because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.